Hey Raptors base, this is Hip Hoop Junkies and Hoop Heads North. It's the beginning of the Raptor season and today we're going to talk about the pleasure <laughs> and the pain of the season thus far. Why? Why? Check it out. We're back at it for another season. Hoop Heads North, Hip Hoop Junkies, Sean Francois, Yui Sanfei, and Romy Aquino. We're back at it, so let's get to some hot topics. Raptors, of course, in the forefront of our minds. Starting the season a little shaky right now, 2-8, and eight, but you know what? Some positive things to talk about, right? Yeah. The pleasure. The pleasure. Oh, come on, man. This, oh, what? This is disrespectful, what? man. This is... Reggie Evans, we didn't see him last year. Who knows where we would have been last year um, had he played? I tell he you, been postseason maybe. One game out of making the playoffs last year, but this is a new season. We don't have CB4, or CB1, whatever he's going by now, and uh, you know, as young the young ones are here to take young over. Ones, totally, yeah. Yeah, Sonny Weems and DeMar DeRozan have been coming through really good so far in the early going. Right. Yeah. Back to back twenty. <clears throat> Point games um, against Orlando, big win, huge and win, and another twenty point game against uh, Miami. Yeah, against he outperformed Chris Bosh. So um, good has things. that really been that hard to do? This year? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thought that he was going to be putting up better numbers than these. Yeah, he's but like, it's going to take some time. Oh, totally. Yeah. Didn't take LeBron much time, but <laughs> that's, that's, that's LeBron, true. Right? Exactly, and he's got the ball in his hands. I mean, I'm not trying to make excuses for CB4, but well, CB1. But at the same <laughs> time, you know, it's going to take guys a little bit of time to get alchemated to their new surroundings, and you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, I'm not wishing ill will on them, but at the same time, I'm not exactly cheering for them either. So. And at the same time, he's a former Raptor. That's so right. So let's not let's, talk about him let's anymore. Let's scrap that. Let's scrap that. Yeah, but um, yeah, let's talk about it. Like the big win over Orlando. Huge. No one would have expected that. I mean, if you're putting money on that game, I think this. If you're looking at the spread, it was like 13 points. Yeah. Who would have thought Toronto would beat Orlando in Orlando? I know, yeah. huge, huge win for them. And yeah. at this point in the season, especially that game, they were on a six-game losing streak, really right. tough, and they needed something to kind of get them back into, you know, feeling good. It's a young team. So have, being able to have any kind of momentum and, you know, some, uh, some encouragement and, you know, confidence going, you know, into the next night mm -hmm. against uh, Miami. Anything mm -hmm. like that that you can take a positive and build on it, that's huge. Yeah. So that was, that was great. Think about it, yeah, they played, like, if you're looking at top teams, they played close with Miami. They played close with L.A. They did. And L.A., like, yeah. And we, had that, things, yeah, like, we had that heartbreaker against Sacramento. Yeah, right. There's moral Our victories. Yeah. We will take moral <laughs> victories yeah. at this point. Yeah. So that's it. We got a young team. Like the commercial says, I think the expectations are low, so they can only go up. And uh, So that's the pleasure. We already covered their two wins. Now let's talk about the pain. Eight losses. Six of them were in a row. That was a tough thing, though, to have a four-game uh, West Coast road trip. Yeah. yeah. Like, to, uh, yeah, three games into the season. Exactly. Yeah. Utah, Golden State. Oh, sorry, no, that's wrong. That's right here. That's <laughs> right here. Sacramento. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. That was where we were starting. Sacramento, Utah, L.A., and then Portland. Yeah. So that was a, a, a true West Coast swing. Yeah. There wasn't any, you know, there's no gimmies, no close one. Yeah. A lot of the pain, too, is... The Raptors are always in it. They'll always get back into it. They'll get back to with five. Like if they're down 18 points, they'll get yeah. within four. Yeah. But then they just can't get over that hump and yeah. close the games out. Just no go-to closer yeah. at this mm -hmm. point. That's Someone so will good. emerge. Someone will eventually kind of get to that point this season, right. I think. We're all 10 games in, yeah. um, you know, another... 72 left to go, yeah. but I think at some point, you know, someone will emerge as that guy who yeah. will hit a couple big shots, yeah. get his confidence up, and, you know, we'll see him be yeah. that person. I don't know who it'll be yet. Maybe no. Tamar, maybe Sonny Weems, maybe, maybe a Jared Klaza, Jack, a uh, Linus Klaza. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, like this four-game road trip when they're with um, Orlando, Miami, Philly, and Washington, yeah. if I was predicting, I would think they might have gotten one win, but 
They've gotten that one win against Orlando, who I didn't yeah. think they would get it against. Hey, remember last year when we were all so optimistic? We were like, yeah, 50 wins! <laughs> <laughs> well, we were 10 yeah. games shot. They yeah. had 40 last year. And now we're like, yeah, oh, let's win the lottery, yay! <laughs> Just like a good soda, the NBA season upon us, that's the pleasure. Ow! Oh, God! And this has been the pain. For Hip Hoop Junkies and Hoop Heads North, you we have. Right, Is that blood on your sweater, man? You alright, man? It's like Pacquiao Margarito all over again, man. Damn, man. Is that, that blood on your shirt? I think I broke my orbital bone. Dang, son. <laughs> oh, man. Get, get you some napkins and whatever, bro. I feel like I'm 2 and 8 on the season. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 o